Hi everyone, my name is Samantha and welcome to my YouTube channel, Sewing in Switzerland. So today I thought, I'm a bit, I'm a bit late to be fair, but I thought we could take a look at the new Vogue Luxe Winter Collection that's just come out. Uh, I'm going to begin by just saying the whole collection is so severely tone deaf at the moment um obviously we've got wars kind of going on everywhere the economic and political climate and the cost of living crisis and the, just the horrible state of the world it's all just awful and terrible and yeah but vogue have brought out a winter luxe collection that is kind of reminiscent of like a 90s or a early noughties like charity gala or charity ball and i just think that the whole collection is so tone deaf and so oblivious to what people want to be wearing and want to be making um this winter so yeah let's take a look at a few and you can let me know your thoughts or if you like them if you like any of the patterns. There are a couple that are actually pretty nice that we'll go through, but I've picked out the main ones that I think are just terrible. So we'll just get straight into it and then you can give me your thoughts as well and we can have a chat about it. So the first one is V1991. I just don't know in what scenario we would need to make this. Is anybody going to like some big well-to-do fancy charity gala or a charity ball or, you know, some very ostentatious place or event that they're going to? Maybe a wedding, maybe a winter wedding that would look good. But you've got this kind of this taffeta style wrap and, you know, the, one of the themes of this entire collection is just the slightly comedic necklines we've got a real variety of different necklines and it's like whoever designed this collection just thought you know what we'll just get as many necklines as we possibly can into the collection so you've got this almost like 16th century style neckline here with this kind of high back and then like ruffles and it's just yeah it's very uh Elizabeth the first, shall we say. I would say it does feel like a bit of a royalty theme throughout actually. So maybe that was part of the design process because you know they've got the real Elizabeth the first kind of collar going on here. So yeah, we've got these big kind of taffeta style wraps. I don't think it's great. Let me know what you think. Uh, I don't really have a lot to say about it other than what is the point of this so yeah i've written on my notes why why do we need this and it also only goes up to a size l so again completely toned up to the current situation <laughs> i don't really know what else to say about it not great let's move on to v1983 okay so we've got another <laughs> interesting style dress here and again you'll see what i mean with the collar we've got this almost like victorian style collar now we're like jumping through where it kind of sits much higher on the throat and kind of wraps around there the dark blue version is pretty good um it suits her much better than the light blue version the light blue version doesn't even look like it fits you know we've got this real kind of gaping wide almost you know slightly like a dog collar like wrapped around her throat there or like a slightly higher victorian neckline and just i think it's the fabric and there's just so much going on and it just it swallows her whole like it she just looks so frumpy and then you've got these kind of it's like they they said like what can we do to make this more interesting so we've got this kind of uh sleeve bishop sleeve style and there's like a giant slit down the middle and you can actually i don't know if it's a design feature but you can see the lining on the inside so it just kind of looks like unfinished and also why do you need 
a giant slit down that in this kind of style dress unless you're going right the only time i think you could really need this is if you're going to like some sort of event and you want to stuff like volivants or something in for later so you can just kind of throw them in the hole in your sleeve and just kind of store them in there so yeah i don't think it's great just check my notes um yeah it's got princess seams pocket details i've written i don't hate it and i don't but it is really overwhelming and it does completely drown her and i think if you took the darker blue version um which looks more like a brocade or like a jacquard fabric and maybe lowered the neckline maybe change it to like a v or something close up the volivant sleeves that we've got going on here it could work but again i just think there's better dress patterns out there especially for events unless you really do want to steal the volivants in which case go for it i would like to see how that works out so the next one i've got is one that i really like really really like it's v1990 and it is a beautiful coat absolutely stunning i've got no notes the shoulder pads are nice and crisp they're not overbearing they don't sit too far away from the body they're just they're nice nice and flush you've got these kind of uh princess seams they're clean they look like they're they're fitted to the body it looks comfortable it's gorgeous it is a beautiful beautiful coat I don't like, the only thing I don't like is the kind of bow detailing. I feel like if you had that on and you put a scarf on or whatever, or you pulled at it, or you had a handbag, it would kind of snag or skew or just kind of pull. And I also think that the placement of the bow detracts from the eye line. So you've got this beautiful kind of silhouette and then you've just got this kind of scraggly little black bow in the middle and it's like mm, no you've done too much just whip that off so yeah it goes up to a size 26 so not the best not the worst but better than a lot of the size range that we've got going on in this vogue collection just seeing if i've got anything to mention i said princess seams i actually think it might be waist starts waist starts and bust starts maybe i'll have to double check at the picture it's very hard to remember what you love like the image in your mind of the item as you're filming so yeah forgive me if it's a princess seams and it's actually waist starts so we'll move on oh this one this one's a corker v1984 it looks like right bear with me it looks like did you, have you ever been to the fair or you know like a little uh i don't know yeah like a, a fair or you know a fun fair or a theme park or whatever and they got those <laughs> cardboard or like wooden frames right and they've got like a picture painted on it and there's like a whole cut out where you put your head and it's usually like it's some really busty lady or you know, like a his and hers, like couples thing, and you put your face through, and then you take a photo, and you just look really silly. This looks like that. It looks like they've taken a silhouette of whatever this is, and just got the woman to just kind of lean against it, like she's not actually wearing it. She just looks ridiculous, and it also kind of looks like a deconstructed tuxedo, right? Like someone has taken a tuxedo, taken it apart, and then. I had their memory wiped and have no concept of what a tuxedo looks like and then I had to like put it back together. <laughs> it's just, it's nonsense. It looks, it just looks wrong. And when you even zoom in on the pictures, on the black one, there's like this kind of satin lapel. And if you zoom in, you can see there's loads of like puckering and kind of pulling of the fabric as well. So it doesn't even look particularly crisp you know which if you're gonna wear something like that you really need it to look crisp but yeah it's um uh, i think it's terrible i think it's really terrible i think they just ran out of ideas and i can't think of a situation where you would wear that where you would even be comfortable in that like 
you've kind of got this this non-bendable arm situation <laughs> i don't know i don't know i don't know if i'm kind of ripping it apart unnecessarily do let me know what you think of this one like did you have the same kind of extreme reaction that i did where you're just like mm -mm, no this is terrible or are you thinking yeah it could work it could work maybe with some like skinny jeans and i don't know i don't know so <laughs> Next one, not much better, I've got to be honest. V1985. So again, we got this kind of, the shirt style. We've got this like novelty neckline again. It's the theme of this collection is novelty necklines. This one is like what I imagine a cowboy in the wild, wild west would wear. It's kind of like a crossed over collar extra kind of fabric just kind of thrown at the throat really like I feel like she was caught in a dust storm just before this and I'd used the collar to like the neckline to just wrap around her face like it's just it's bizarre so we have this almost comical neckline uh going on and then we've got these really nice actually really gorgeous very flush very crisp Pin tucks all the way down, taking up a large proportion of the shirt there. And then we've got this kind of bishop sleeves again with the slit down the middle <laughs> for, you know, stuffing snacks in. <laughs> and it's just, it's, there's so much going on, right? We've got a big hole down the sleeve here. We've got all these pin tucks and then we've got this, just this ridiculous neckline. It's just... It needs pairing back, right? You just, you gotta take away the neckline, leave the pin tucks, maybe seal up the shirt and just have like a plain shirt with the pin tucks. But then I think there's so many better shirts out there with pin tuck detailing on. So yeah, it's just, there's so much going on. It's like multi, it feels like multiple people were designing this shirt and there was no one person saying no this is too much they're like yeah stick it on yeah add a bit more yeah why not you know that it's just so busy it kind of makes me go a bit cross-eyed and then as for the neckline i i don't know i don't know and also i will mention as well there's a it to do it up it's an invisible zip all the way up so you're kind of really hemmed in right with this kind of zipper right up the back so you've got this kind of satin flowy thing and then you've got kind of like a stiff zipper go going up it just it just doesn't feel right like why is there this big zipper going right down the back why not just seal it with a hook and eye you know and then there's like more more movement around the back there it's not going to be sitting so stiff when well, you've got this all this movement with the sleeves and then kind of rigid pin tucks and then this kind of folding over outlaw scarf going on no no i don't i don't i can't think of a situation where this would work to be honest so yeah it goes up to a size 22 so it's not great not the worst i've seen but not great so do let me know what you think am i just really ragging this whole collection like it just i think i was in not in a bad mood but like feeling a bit negative towards it anyway because of the fact that they they brought it out and they called the whole tagline as like the Lux collection and I've written the the actual tagline here. Oh, da, 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 da. a return to elegance, like okay, okay, a return to elegance, but a return from where? Because we're all in like dire economic, political, horrific situations. So a return to Alex. It's just, oh, it's just icky, right? It's just, mm, nah, it's not right. It's not good. So I'll end on a high. Well, an in between high, a relative high. A V1982, okay? And I mentioned earlier that there was definitely some kind of royal connections um, and styles in this collection. This one is a direct knockoff, right? Late last year, I want to say November, I'll double check. I want to say November 2022, Kate Middleton wore this Jenny Packham dress, right? In white, and there was like some sort of crystal 
detailing up here like some sort of blingy style thing kind of embroidered on very beautiful and it had the sleeveless cape with this kind of beautiful dress and it looks exactly like this one right and i think it's very comical that they made this with a brunette model in white the fabric is in white and she just looks a bit kate middleton-esque and as soon as i saw it i thought i've seen this before and i kind of slept on it because i kept thinking where have i seen this and then it dawned on me it was kate middleton in jenny packham so yeah i think that they've really kind of they're pushing that kind of monarchy style agenda with with this collection in my opinion right with the victorian necklines and the almost like elizabethan necklines as well and it was all you know queens and now we've got the cape middle i don't know maybe i'm reading too much into it and you can say sarah no i don't see that at all and that's fine i would appreciate your thoughts on the matter um so yeah it does look very bridal it is nice actually uh just written here it's got princess seams waist bust starts it is incredibly similar there is another version where it's got like a long sleeve but that kind of the way that the sleeve folds in conjunction with the cape and the dress you just kind of you've got this kind of bunching with the fabric and it just looks too bulky and the sleeveless option is much much cleaner much much better in my opinion and then you've got the cape as well so i think it's a beautiful dress and i would maybe quite like to make one because i think you could do something really fun with it and i think that it's really it's very clean in that you could add a, a bit of an embroidery or really jazz it up you know some big kind of like fun rhinestones or something there's definitely room for like making it quite arty party i think on this one so yeah i think it could be a really fun one to do actually so again i probably wouldn't make it in white i'm thinking like go all out hot pink with like green royal green gems and sequins all over the top bit here i think that could be it could be nice right so yeah, I'll put a link in the description as well with all the links to the patterns and also to the, um, I'll include a link of the picture of Kate Middleton as well. Just so you can put them side by side and go, yeah, Sam, you're bang on or no, Sam, like, what are you thinking? So yeah, I don't think it's great. I'm not impressed. I don't really like the attitude behind it. Um, I do like the, the coat though. I do think that's beautiful. So I would very much like to know your thoughts on this. And if you think I'm like way off, way wildly off from my feelings on this, because I think I am a little bit biased because I went into it a little bit negatively as well. So yeah, tell me what you think, how you feel about this collection. And if you're gonna make any of it, and if you're thinking, Sam, no, you're so off, let me tell you why. And let me tell you how this could look good. Do please let me know and thank you so much and if you enjoyed the video do please like and subscribe because it makes me very very happy and thank you so much and i will see you all soon bye